Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII, Vaughn, the proprietor of the devil with his 666 HP. <laughs> anyway, in the last episode, we uh, we did a lot actually. We went through the whole waterway area, got captured, went to prison, escaped prison, and now we're on our way to escaping. But on our way out, we found Bosch. What the hell do we want with him? He's a fucking traitor. He killed, he killed my bro and the king, so fuck that shit. But anyway... We're here in the Barheim Passage. We gotta figure out a way to get out of here. I think the first thing we wanna do is actually check this right here, this, this time worn device. Press the switch. This is not working. Door. Let's have a look. Hmm, the fuse is blown. That would explain why there's no power reaching the device or the switch. If the wiring is any indication, I'd say this is a central power relay of some sort. As it stands, I doubt we'll find much still running down here. Okay, so. We'll have to fuck with that when we find some kind of fuse or whatever. That's the idea there. But anyway, so we need a fuse. To activate that, there's this switchboard over here. Press the switch. Nothing happens. Power to gate has been cut. Okay, so that doesn't work either. Do you happen to have this fuse, Burrow? What's that? No power to the passage, eh? Can't say I'm surprised. Tunnels as old as these this gate ain't working none either. Here we go. Try putting this in the contraption up the stairs. Fuse! Nice. I made that tube fuse from parts I found down in these very tunnels. It's as good as any you'll find. Better than most. Mark my words. Cool. Actually, before I go do that real quick, I didn't really check last episode, but he sells weapons and stuff, but he also sells, well, accessories, but... Ooh, an Argyle armlet might not be a bad investment. If I was going to learn Accessories 3, this might not be a bad investment. I'll hold off. I'll hold off. Um, they don't sell anything new there for weapons. But what I was going to do is they sell Technics, which I already bought. But there's new spells here. Oh, I thought there was a... Really? Really? He doesn't sell, like, the Blizzard spell or anything? He just sells... I thought for sure I could get the Blizzard spell from him, no? Really? That's unfortunate. Oh, also, see all these gambits? You want to buy all of them. These are one-time buys, but you're going to want all of them. This is the way you have more options for when you're setting up your gambits. You want to just buy all of them. They're literally cheap little things. They're helpful. You can let you customize your gambits in all the possible ways. You want to buy all of these, for sure. Just all of them. No matter what, just buy them all. Even if you don't think it's going to be that useful, you never know when you might find yourself in a situation where you need something. You might find a creative way to use a gambit that you don't even think about. This is a lot of money. I did not expect there to be this many to buy. Holy shit. I don't know why they even bothered to have the ones you already have from the beginning of the game, even in this list. What's the point? Is there a buy all option? I guess not. That's alright. Luckily, I had a lot of shit to sell and I got a lot of money out of that. Alright, cool. Does that even leave me enough to buy all these spells? I definitely want to make sure we get Thunder. And Poisona. And Vox. Yeah, we have no problem. Okay. Buy them all. Just buy all the spells. You never know when you're going to find a good time to use a spell, too. So just better to buy all the Technics and spells as you see them than to bother being like, when am I going to use that? Well, it's a one-time buy. And it's always good to buy everything. It really is. So anyway, I, yeah, you saw at the end of the last episode, I bought all the equipment and equipped everybody up. So everybody's got the best equipment that I can get from the shop for their current level of whatever. So let's just go ahead and put this fuse in the thingy and let's get on with ourselves, shall we? Install that fuse, baby. Install that shit. Let's go. Charge 0%. Oh, get ready for the gimmick of this place, because this one, well... I said it might take a while. I was gonna say I was just about to say it might take a while, but really, and truly, with fast forward, you never know how long things will really take. So, so yeah, let's just go. Power on. Um, wait. Now that the power's on, I think actually we're just gonna go down there and hit that gate switch, and then we're gonna get the fuck out of here. You guys ready to go on a Barheim Passage adventure? Let's do it. Whoopsie. Slow down. Press that switch. Back to seat, hit that switch. Let's go through the passage, bitch. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I see you got the gate open. Ought to be able to look for all manner of ways out now. 
while the lights are on, the passes ain't so bad, but let the change charge drop and some fierce beasts start coming out in the dark. Opening this gate probably took the charge down some. That gate ought to show you how much charge is left. Hmm, about 30% are operate something the size of these gates, I'd say. Who knows how many more of these gates they got down here. You look for these switchboards, you ought to be able to make your way. Alright, so that's pretty much the idea. There's a charge percent. You gotta open the switch. You gotta hit switches to open gates and it'll make the charge go down. But how do you get the charge to go back up? Well, I think they're about to explain it right now. Hey, who turned out the lights? One of those? I've heard of these. Mimics. They disguise themselves as all manner of things, then strike when you're least wary. Some of them have a fondness for energy, I'm told. They gorge themselves on the stuff till there's naught left. So, um, what happens then? You don't want to know. Zombies! Lights out, and it's worse in the dark. Much worse. So, let them get too close to one of those conduits, and they'll suck it dry. But don't worry, it'll give the energy back if you ask nicely. Sticking it with a sword helps too. Clock's ticking. Alright, so basically, kick the shit out of all the mimics you see. That's that's the rule. Beat the shit out of mimics. Mimics like to run away, by the way. So, you'll see one, they might, and you fight it, or you'll try to fight it, and you'll just run, you little bitch. And also note that as soon as you kill one, you get a big burst of energy back, so that's good. So, yeah. Noted. Wait, we got the map for this place, right? Did we get the map for this place? When we got down here, did we get a map? I guess we didn't get a map. Okay. We'll have to find... I think there is a map down here somewhere that we're going to find. But anyway, we need to hurry up and catch up to that mimic so he doesn't suck the life out of us. That's one thing about fast forward i got to be careful about in this area. There's a sort of a charge timer, right? So we got to make sure that shit don't hit zero. Just kill everything along the way. Rush to the mimics if you can, because they drain the t they drain that charge real fast. Granted, you'll get it all right back, but the longer you wait, the faster the charge will drain. So, okay. Now, when you clear all the mimics, the charge will stop going down, I think. I think that's how it works anyways. It'll stop going down at, a, like, a fixed rate. I might be wrong on that. We'll see if that's actually the case here in a minute. At this point, I'm just trying to make sure we don't miss any treasures. Oopsies. Another phoenix down. Also, did I read you guys the treasure list for this place? Because I, I was explaining last episode that I didn't really care for the treasure pool list that I've been using. Um, but I'm still using the same one for now. I might look into changing up as I get further into my guide. But, like, I'll read you the treasure pool. I think what it is is we're just going to... Like, some of them are the random treasures. And some of them are the treasures we're just going to find. Like, it's just going to be fixed. So let me read them off for you real quick. Barham Passage Treasures. Potion, Phoenix Down, Antidote, Ether, High Potion, Bronze Armor, Buckler, Battle Harness, a Pointy Hat, Onion Shot, and some money. So there's a lot of things on that list, which some of those make me think we're probably just going to find them and, and just get them. So we'll see. Okay. Um, actually, let's fight this one first. Everybody come back over here. We'll chase down that other mimic in a minute. This one's closer by. And remember, I, what I like about these early dungeons too is that there's a lot of sections where we have guest characters. Like when we were down in the Garam Scythe waterway, we had Amalia, and now we got Bosch. So, I mean, there's going to be more of that as we go. But right now, um, yeah. Anyway, we need to go chase down that other mimic real quick. It'd be nice to look around here a little more thoroughly, but chasing down the mimic and getting rid of them is a better idea. Where did he go? Where did he go? This is him over here? I guess so. Mimix. Don't be sucking out my charge, homie. Alright. And there's the map. There it is. Alright. We'll have to go around to get it, but there it is. The charge isn't going down anymore, right? Okay, so we're clear on Mimix. At least for the moment. Let me go back here and look to see if I didn't miss any items. What a long walk this would be without fast forward. I guess there is none. Okay, cool. We didn't miss any treasures then. Right? Right. Okay. Let me just look at the map real quick. I don't want to miss any, like, nooks on the map that I'm not noticing either. Sorry, checked here. I guess we're just going to go this way. Little baby mimic. 
I don't think the baby mimics do anything. They're just there to be fodder, basically. Cannon fodder. Um, oh, we're getting to a point where there's like alternate routes and shit. Actually, oh god, there's a big mimic. Let's get him. Whoa, where you going, buddy? Where you going, buddy? Where you going, buddy? He's running away. Let's get him. Ran away like a little bitch. I guess those big mimics don't really start sucking out the, the, the energy until they get to the conduits or whatever you want to call them. Electrical outlets. Get fucked, mimic. Get fucked. I guess this ended up being a dead end, which is fine. Really no treasures, huh? Alright. Fine. I don't want any treasures anyway. Wait, was that a treasure right there? No. Sometimes running running really fast through here might throw me off and I might miss shit. Um, let's just go this way. Let's get that map first and then we'll worry about where to go next. Treasure right here, though. Oh, oh, oh. Who's, who's trying to fight me? You want to try and fight me, Black? Stealing? Oh, these are just the stealings from like the other dungeon, huh? I thought these were like a different kind of bat, but no, they're the same stealings as they always were. Anyway, got ourselves the map of Barheim Passage. So now we can look around further ahead and see what's to come, shall we? All right. So yeah, you'll probably see one nice long passage. A dungeon that'll probably take us the whole episode, but we'll see. Maybe we'll fly through it a lot faster than I expect. I mean, we already got to this point. It's only been about 10 minutes, so that's pretty good, right? A little bit more than 10 minutes. Gotta be thorough. Gotta be thorough. So this is actually what area? This is the Great Eastern Passage. Okay. Um, wait a second. I didn't pass anything, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, okay, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Wait, so which way do I want to go from here? I want to go... Okay, there's a little side room. We want to go in that little side room. I think that's where I want to go first. <laughs> Anytime there's a little side room, you always want to check those out, because you might find some good stuff. Oh, you might want to kill this Mimic first, because this Mimic, he's going to try to suck the life out of something, and we don't want that. Keep you going, big boy. Yeah. One thing is, I don't know if the mimics respawn or if you leave and exit an area and come back in. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Either way, let me loot all the treasure first, just in case treasure does happen to respawn here. Oh, there's no more way. Never mind. There's no more, no more passage to check. Never mind. All right. This room seems to have all manner of 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 mimic going on. I don't know why this mimic came straight for us, but fuck him up. Fuck him up, team. Fuck him up. Alright, let's go get this one down here first, because we can see him. Sucking the life out of this shit. And we don't appreciate it. I like that we're causing silence. In fact, I know what's causing silence. I was about to ask why, we're, why all of a sudden we're causing silence on things. Also, I got a buckler. Hell yeah. Um... I think I already had a buckler, actually. But anyway, um, the reason why we're catch uh, silence is being caused. I believe the Mage Masher has a status effect uh, that it can cause, and that is silence. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. This should be a dead end. Dead end with a battle harness. Ooh. I probably can't equip it, but let's at least see what it requires. It's not. Not an equipment? Wait, what the heck is it then? Oh, it's a fucking accessory. Accessory 4. When attacked, automatically counter with the weapon in hand. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Yeah, I'll find some good accessories. I should probably start leveling up my accessory slots. We'll get there. We'll get there. In, in the base of our exploration, I'm not too worried about getting LP leveled up right now. I think what it's probably going to be a lot of the times is we're going to go through a dungeon unless we hit a roadblock where I need to learn something or whatever. Probably just gonna go ahead and rock our way through dungeons and worry about leveling stuff up as we as we need to, not necessarily as we go. So like if I find an item I want to equip or something, I'll make sure I have the license for it. But otherwise, we're just gonna rock our way through it. Anyway, let's get this mimic. Get him. Get him. You will not get away from me, mimic. How dare you think you can? Where do you be? 
think you are going? Yeah. Nowhere. Right. So this is a dead end, I believe. I don't think we can open this gate. We have to find the switch to open it. That's fine. Also, there's another mimic around here somewhere. Just sucking the life out of this place. Let's find him. Flaunts! How you doing, my flaunty friends? I'm not gonna deal with yo shit. Also, she can do thunder? Yo, thunder time, man. I don't even know if thunder does good. I don't think so. I think fire does more. I don't even know why she can do black magics. Like, it's weird. She's not a black mage. She must just, by default, have certain abilities. I shouldn't say she must. It's clearly that she does. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a thing. Um, it's kind of cool, though. I'm glad she does, because this early part of the game without spells would suck if you didn't make somebody a black mage. I was tempted to make her a black mage at first, but then when I decided to make Penella the black mage, I was like, well, then I can't make her a black mage also. I want to be... We got, you know, we're going to have six characters to, to customize, and I want to make them all unique if I can. So, I mean, that's kind of the idea of customization. You want to make all your characters unique. So, in that case, here we are. Walking around with, without a official white mage or black mage at the moment. Eventually, I'll get characters I can make into that. It's also interesting to think that as long as this game is, like, there's a lot of, uh, like a lot of time. Okay, let me. What am I trying to say? So originally, this game is really long, right? Without the fast forward feature, I keep saying that. But like, think about how many hours I or you would spend without the fast forward feature before you actually get characters like before you actually get Fran and Balthier before you actually get Amalia before you get to this part with Bosch before you get Pinello back in the party before you get other party members before you get the full six members I mean we're already on what like this will be episode six I guess um, by the way we're fighting a bomb bombs do exactly what you would expect so let's kick their ass quickly um, but yeah the point is Imagine how many hours you would spend without the fast forward feature before you start getting characters and, and then on top of that with this customization crap and all that, like that just makes it even more like, oh my god, how much longer until I get more party members to customize and do more things. Also, I'm going back over here for no reason because I know it's a dead end. I'm an idiot. I guess I just got, I found that treasure chest on the way back and I was thinking, man, I need to go look for treasures. I think we're fine. Anyway, point is... I'm just really glad this game, with the fast forward feature and everything, is making this feel like it's not a long time before I'm going to have more party members. Because it's really not. I mean, we pretty much have Fran and Balthier now. There's going to be some moments when we don't have them, sure, but they are party members. We got to customize their fucking jobs, so they count as party members as far as I'm concerned. Pinello also, we just need to get her back. We will get her back eventually. I don't remember how much longer from now that is, but it'll happen eventually. I mean, I can tell you how much longer in my notes it is, but I don't know how much longer that actually is. Anyway, where the fuck is this mimic at? Sucking the life out of this place. Wait, did I go into a new area? I did, right? I did. Also, we're here looking for a switch, I think. Oh, man. Let's fucking... Let's get rid of this guy quickly. Yeah. Huh. Gotta go find this mimic before he sucks too much life out of this place. Cause we're at the point where we're gonna have to find. You know what? I'm gonna ignore this flan. Where the hell's the mimic at? Yeah. God damn it! I don't want to fight you, flan. You're just wasting my time. Also, the camera is not cooperating now. There's the mimic. Get him. But anyway, yeah. Um. I don't know what I'm getting at. I forgot what I was even saying lost track of what I was saying. Wasn't important. Green file of liquid. Interesting. This must be a loot drop that we can sell. I haven't even been paying attention to the loot drops we've been getting. Um, yeah. This is pretty much dead end anyway, so... Might as well. Oops, wrong button. Magic. Black magic fire. I wonder if I can, uh... I don't think you can do certain enemies. I was gonna say, I wonder if I can put Flan on my gambits and just be like, use fire on any Flan. I should check. I mean, I leveled up my gambits. I should check, man. 
leveled up my gamuts. I leveled them up so I have more gamuts is what I mean. And I bought all the gamuts from the damn store. I should do that on every dungeon. It's just, oh fuck, I found a Mage Masher, damn it. Oh well, anything we find that we already bought is fine. Oh, there's the, tre there's the switch we're looking for too. Yeah, don't feel too bad if you find a treasure you already bought. That's the whole point is it's, it's, some of them are kind of random. You have like a 50-50 chance of getting the item. So you never know. Also, there we go. 30% of charge got used up to open the gate. All right. That gate that we came across that was blocked before should be open now. Um, did I look around the whole this area? Let me go back to the other room. I think I ran out of there when I was decided to go after the mimic instead. Let me make sure we've explored this room thoroughly. Let's see, did I go this way? Might have. Nope. At least I didn't go over to this guy. I think I went the other way though. Either way. Fuck him up, team. Go team, go. Yeah, I, I did come Oh god. Well, whatever. Let's just kill him. Everything is worth it because of experience points, LP points, and the potential for drops. See what I mean about experience points? Boy, went up a level. Also, I got a top cappy hat. Don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Um, okay, this is the way back out. Did I check up here? I did not. Yo, Oak Staff. Sweet. For that white mage that I don't have. Sweet. <laughs> Can't hate on it, though. Free shit is free shit. Even if it's just for money, like I said. Even if you never have somebody who uses it. Now I'm gonna be one of those people who holds on to one of everything. I'm one of those. I'm one of those kind of game players. I don't know if you guys watch me play any other uh, Final Fantasies. I'm sure. I, in fact, I know I have some people watching me do this playthrough who have been around for a while, and thus you know how how I roll with RPGs and especially Final Fantasies. Um, but yeah. Let's get the bomb, everybody. The bomb's gonna blow up, dude. He's gonna blow up, dude. Get him. This flan is ruining it. There's another bomb now. Bosh went up a level. Like, I give a fuck. He's not even in my party yet. He's just a guest. I guess I care a little bit. Alright. Ooh, treasure respawn. Sweet. Yay, a head guard. Nice. Another thing I bought two or three of, and now I got a free one. Sweet. But yeah, I'm one of those people who just keeps one of everything, even if it's something from a while ago. And this game is a, a easy um, example of why you would keep one of everything because of the way the license board works. You just want to. I mean, obviously weaker shit is still weaker, and there's really no point holding on to it. But like, I don't know, something about how just being able to go back to equip weaker stuff for whatever reason, you never know. Like, maybe one day I want to use a Mage Masher again because it causes silence on enemies when I use it. I don't know if that's actually ever going to be a thing that I'll need to do, but maybe. Maybe. Could happen. Should I go back and check the chest in here? I don't know. I guess I could. We have time. This episode's flying by. No, oh, we don't need to go this way then. Never mind. Not if I have to leave the screen. Then I won't. But yeah, like, I don't know. Uh, how much more is there of this place? We got one, two, three. Okay, we're almost there actually. A couple more, a couple more passages that are straightforward, and we should be out of here. Oh, got a cutscene real quick though. Mist seethes. It reeks. Something's close. <clears throat> Something is close. <clears throat> <clears throat> Nice moves there, Captain. You mean traitor? You mean traitor? So they say. But I didn't see him kill anyone. True that. Neither did you. My all. brother did. Uh, Rex. He said he had a brother two years younger. I see. He meant you. Your brother. What became of. He's dead. I'm sorry. It was you who killed him. I give you my word. That was not the way of it. But that's all we saw in the cutscene. We have no other proof. But Bosch claims it wasn't him. He claims it wasn't him! Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Rex. All I have left, sir. He's 
two years younger than I, living it's in time the time bomb. Save the discussion for later. We found them! But if we arrive after he signed the treaty... Sir, we have no, little sir. time. You must I go to the tank. They're slowing us down. Captain and for peace. my parents. He was a traitor. A twin brother. Fancy that. Hmm. But still, the pieces fit, I'll give you that much. And he did look like you. I don't believe you. Of course not. It was my fault that Rex was there. I am sorry. My brother, he trusted you. He trusted you and you lost everything. How can I believe you? Not me, then. Believe in your brother. He was a fine soldier. He fought to the last to protect his homeland. No. Surely he fought to protect his brother. You don't know anything! Believe what you want to. Whatever it takes to make you happy. What's done is done. See, Balthier's all about. Fuck it. It happened in the past. Move on, bitches. If Boss ain't trying to kill you now, then what are you so fucking... Why are you being all bitchy about it? Like, seriously. I mean, I can understand, though. Fon's a kid. He's gonna be all emotional about it. I mean, it was his brother. It was the last fucking relative he had. It's understandable. I mean, I get it. But get over it already. God. I don't know. I'm probably just... I'm, I'm one of those people who can move on quickly. I don't know. Not to, not to say that I would forgive the guy who I thought bro killed my brother. I'm not saying I would do that. I, I'm pretty sure I would probably be just as salty as Vaughn about it, for real. So, I guess I gotta give him that much. But, as a video game character, shut the fuck up already. Let's move on. <laughs> anyway, oh shit. Speaking of mimics, that chest was a mimic. How convenient. If you were wondering why mimics weren't chest thingies like they usually are in Final Fantasy or any RPG, well, guess what? Spoiler alert, they can also be chests. I mean, if you look at how the chests look, they actually do look like spiders, kind of. Like, they look like these mimics, but condensed into a barrel. It's kind of interesting how they designed that. Like, look at this. See, you can see the four legs. And then becomes a mimic. How convenient. For sure. Alright, cool. Um, so pretty much there's no other ways to go down here at the moment. We're just gonna go straight through this way, kill all the mimics we see, and move on. The rest of this dungeon is pretty damn straightforward. I don't know how much more gate switches we have to hit. We might have to hit a couple, I don't know. We'll see. Either way, we have 80%. Plenty, uh, plenty of uh, energy to go around. Just make sure we kill these mimics quickly. So they can't drain much more energy. I mean, every one we kill, we're going to get a bunch of energy back anyways. So. Speaking of which, I think this is the last screen, right? This is it, right? Oh, we got two more screens. But it looks like there's mul multiple mimics here, so we need to make sure we merc them quick. <laughs> got to find this other one quickly. Check out this toad. Get wrecked, toad. Surianda. Is that what they're called? I never even caught their name before. Is that what they were called in the sewer, too? I don't know. We need to get to this other mimic first, and then we'll worry about exploring. Where you at, mimic? There you are. I may have missed some shit. Don't worry. I'm going to go back and check. I want to get rid of this fuckface first. Alright. Now I feel much better about it. Got 100% charge. I'm happy. Collect our spoils. Check all the dead ends and stuff. Want to make sure we don't miss no treasure now. Don't want to miss no treasure now. In fact, I know I miss one treasure down here somewhere. But gotta check all the crannies, man. Look at that. I found a little like secret passage over here to get over to this little area. It looks like an island on the map almost. Is there anything over here? There's just a couple of frogs. There's no items over here or anything. Well, that sucks. I thought I found something cool. Just found two frogs. 
whoopty fucking do. Speaking of which, that's all that was over there, right? Yeah, just a little fucking little side venture. All right. There wasn't there a treasure over here. There was. Yeah, got that potion though. It's like whoopty fucking do. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's two treasures over here. Let's hope that one of them is actually a treasure, or they're both are. Potion. And potion. Oh, we're just loading up on potions. All right. Can't hate on that. Potions are a eternally useful item. Ooh, iron hammer. Now we're speaking my language. Beating fools down with a hammer. I'm down. Anyway, I think that's about it, though. There was a lot of treasures back here. Glad I came back with those. All right then. Oh, look, a frog respawned. I'll, fu I'll fuck him up. I fuck him up. I fuck with him. Yes. Like I said, we're actually almost done here. I thought this was going to take us a whole episode, man. Dungeons are going by quick. I'm really glad. I'm really glad. This fast forward thing is a fucking godsend. I'm just going to praise it every episode for the whole LP just because it's so amazing and so useful. Good lord, man. I love it. it. Makes everything feel so not cumbersome. Anyway, I think we have one last screen to go before the f official ending here of this place, which, yes, it's is gonna all culminate in a boss fight, as a as an RPG dungeon is supposed to. So, just take a quick look around. Anything? Is there supposed to be anything here? I don't think so. Alright, so we have a spot to save. Let's go ahead and uh, check out some equipment and maybe some license f finagling. Um, do I want to see if I can get a shield going here? The thing is, I don't understand where the buckler is on here. Is there just no buckler? I'm confused. I'm so confused. Let me double check. Boss fights. Yeah, okay. We're just looking at what we need to do for the boss fight. Um, okay. I don't know what I want to do. Should I just bust up, uh, boost up some abilities? Like, or should I? Uh, you know what? Let's just keep expanding my gambit slots. I'm going to start using more gambits here pretty soon. Potions restore more HP? Hell yeah, do that. Let's see. 240 for the Zodiac Spear. What? I already unlocked the spot for the Zodiac Spear. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. There's a reason why I wanted an Oolon, and that's part of it. I want to be able to use the Zodiac Spear if I take the time to get it. So, Anyway, I'm going to go and expand her sluts. Ooh, she's got a quickening over here, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Do I want to do it? Kind of. I'm going to put... Oh, no, but I won't be able to get the quickening. You know what? Quickening. Doing it. Feral strike, dude. Let's go. Also, what did that equip? What did that unlock? Ooh, white magic four. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. When I can get when I get those spells, that's gonna be hella worth it. Hell yeah, dude. As a freaking archer, she can have white magic. That's amazing. Loving that. All right. And as for Vaughn, I'm going to. What am I gonna do with all this shit? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, I kind of want that battle harness. You know what? Let's equip the battle harness. I have plenty of HP. He doesn't need the Orachial Armlet. A Tourmaline Ring would be nice too, but one accessory is all you can equip, so yeah. Uh, shit. So much freaking HP boosters. You know what? Let's just... Let's buy this one. It's only 30 HP, but let's just get it out of the way so we can see what the next one is. And I'll buy another Gambit slot for him. Yeah. Alright. I'm cool with that. Uh, let's see, so I did buy some equipment stuff. I want to, I want to equip that battle harness. Yeah, that sounds fun. The only other one I can equip right now is the magicite. I don't think I got any other armor that I don't already have, anyways. Um, yeah, pretty much. I didn't get a new thing for him. Okay, that's good. Um, gambits. That's the other thing. So I got a couple more extra gambit slots. I'm trying to think what I want to do with them. For Fran, it would be nice if I could get her for targeting, for targeting, for targeting. Yes, these are all foe with the highest HP, foe with 100% HP. Um,. Man, I don't even know what I want to do. I don't know. There's so much I can do here with all this stuff. 
But I almost don't care right now, because I don't feel like there's anything I'm really cons particularly concerned about about to happen to us in this boss fight coming up, or just down here in this dungeon since we're almost done. Um, but there will be points where I'm definitely going on a set of gambits to make sure that I'm like dealing with status effects or dealing with anything like that. Like if blind was more of an issue down here, I would be like, oh, if I'm blind, use an eye drop automatically, that kind of thing. But we'll see. We're going to come across moments where I'm going to do it. Like there's going to be points where I'm going to want to use magic on a regular basis, swap my potions to cure instead so we don't actually waste potions. Um, you know, stuff like that. In fact, saying that now, I just realized I'm going to do one quick thing. I'm going to make a gambit on Fran real quick because she can use cure. Um, I'm going to move this one down one, and I'm going to give her a new one where if the ally is... If ally is... Hmm... If ally is 50%, she'll just cast cure on them. Because she'll be the only one who does that. That makes her kind of my healer. In fact, I'll put it, on, I'll put it above 30%, obviously. Alright, so she's the only one that can use Cure, so we might as well let her use up her MP. I mean, what else am I using her MP on? Nothing. Alright, noted. Let's get this dungeon done with, shall we? I don't want to spend a bunch of time doing gambits and shit, unless I absolutely need to. I want to spend most of that menu time off screen, if I can. Anyway, welcome to the boss fight. Guess what? It's a mimic! A lot of mimic. Or a really big mimic, that's cool too. Okay, that's a lot of mimics. One big boy and a lot of little boys. All right, so I'll tell you now, go for the tiny batteries first. They're annoying, get rid of them. Get rid of them, get rid of them. Kill all the little bitches first. It's better, it's better for your health. Also, I think it's because if you don't kill them, they will heal her. You don't want to deal with that shit. You don't want to deal with that shit. Because you'll see that we actually did do some damage to the Mimic Queen. And yes, it's a Mimic Queen. That's why I said her. Um, we did some damage, but some of it got healed. And you don't want to deal with that shit. You just don't want to. So kind of just rotate around. Kill the little ones. Your teammates will do damage as you go anyway. So just keep popping these little bitches. They're going to keep spawning, by the way. They don't, they don't ever stop spawning, which is kind of annoying. Where's he at? Get him. No healing will happen. So yeah, this battle can be a little bit annoying. You gotta keep on top of the little bastards. Drop another one. She has not dropped another one yet. All right. Okay, she's doing that spawn move. Okay, I see. When she when she does spawn, that's when more pop out. We're gonna win this pretty easily, as you can see. It's a pretty easy boss fight. Fast forward is just making it even better. Okay, another little bastard. No, no, no. Get the little bastard. Okay. Doing a technique, are you? I'm not scared of your technique, you. And I know we haven't used any of those quickenings I've unlocked on their on their uh, license boards yet. But now that I say that out loud, it's time to check out the fires of war. You guys ready? Check it out. Bosh. I mean, Balthier. I mean. Am I supposed to do something? Oh, I guess I could chain them together. I didn't realize. I, f I guess I forgot you can chain quickenings. Alright. I don't even know how this works. Maybe I should have waited for the game to tell me how it works. But I really don't know how this works. I guess you can chain quickenings. This is cool. I don't remember how this works. I haven't done this in Please. so long. It's crazy. Alright. Well, I could have done better, I'm sure. I wasted a lot of time there in the beginning not realizing what the hell was going on. But hey, he's probably dead, right? What is happening? Is that part of the quickening I did? Inferno? That's awesome. Oh yeah, that motherfucker is super dead. Hell yeah. Suck on that, big boy. Or big girl, whatever. Get it. Nice work. And he plays crumbles in the jam. Run! Don't think we're going back in that way. Don't worry. 
go back to Barheim someday. Not today, though. Instead, now where are we? Somewhere a little bit more familiar, I'd say. Indeed. Welcome to the sandy area again. To think Dalmascan air could taste so sweet. So very sweet. Where are we? The Esther Sand, by the look of it. Let's back to Rabanasta before we shrivel up. By your leave, Captain. Yes, the hour of my return is already over late. The people may hate me, but that does not free me of my charge. So is he leaving the party, or...? Okay, so we're in the Esther Sand, FYI. Remember, we need to go back to Rabanaster. We only went as far as right there, the little village area. So now we got to work our way back through areas we haven't been in yet. And look at all this area in the north. Remember, we bought this map for this place, so now we can see all the areas. There's a lot of places you can go from the Esther Sand. We're gonna go there later. For now, we're probably just gonna head our way back to the villa, uh, to the to the Rabanaster. But before we do that, I'm gonna pop this this save. Um. Yeah, and we'll actually save it since we did just fight a boss and do a sick ass quickening technique, which was pretty beast. It's pretty, pretty proud of that. Pretty proud of that. Okay, because we still have about, mm, I want to say we got about 15 minutes on this episode. Maybe let, well, I mean, depending on how close I want to push it to an hour. So I'm cool with just heading back to the Rabinoster. I don't know if there's going to be a cutscene when we get there, but maybe I'll stop when we make it back to the little village area. You guys remember the little village area on the way back? Because I want to actually look around here. There's there's things to be found around here, treasures and whatnot, you know? I don't want to just go through a new area just to be on our way, so to speak. I want to actually look around and pick up treasures, because there's a new treasure pool here, and we may be able to find some good stuff. Who knows? But I'll tell you what the treasure pool is for this area, at least on our, our current destination. Potion, antidote, ether, lightning fang, poison, silence, bangle, and gill. Poison and silence both meaning the actual spells. Um, I think I have poison or silence already. I don't remember which one. Why, do I, why am I clicking? I have one of those already. Um, so if I do hit the chest that's supposed to have that spell, one of those spells, both those spells, I may get something else out of it, but that's fine. Also, finally, more cockatrices. Sweet. More cockatrices to Merc. Yeah, we're gonna rock through these areas, this area, even quicker than we did the first time around, because it's the same enemies from before, mostly. We might fight something new here. I'm just not sure. I, I should have probably put an enemy list, too, on my fucking guide, so I would have known. Like, when we were gonna hit something new. Oh, wow, I already went the right way, huh? Alright, well, before we do that, let me go ahead and look around a little bit more. I wanted to make sure we, uh, be a little thorough. I don't think this area has any, like, special treasure chests. I just want to grab what I see. But I also want to cover the whole map for funsies. See if we find anything cool out here, you know? You never know what kind of luck we might have. Also, drops are good, because more money. More money. More money is always bueno. Plus, we need to kill more cockatrices, duh. Don't you remember? Our fucking bestiary wasn't done yet. Although it's probably done now, we just killed like four cockatrices. Well, that, that makes four right there. I think we only needed to kill five more, so maybe you still have to kill one more. Maybe. I don't know. That's another path out. The treasure right here. Ooh, two more treasures. Hell yeah. Some more gill. I wanna be a gillionaire. Ooh, Argyle Armlet. Yo, I'm glad I didn't buy one of those. Found one. I wanna be a gillionaire so friggin' bad So I can buy that airship that I never had By the way, two episodes ago, three episodes ago, what episode was it? It was the episode, I think I called it, Took a Trip to the Giza. Did anybody happen to read the description on that video? <laughs> Did anybody read that whole description? Because that was fucking ridiculous. I... I put, I, <laughs> you know, sometimes I ran, I, I don't know how I come up with episode names sometimes, it's usually just something I think of, like, what did we do in this episode, okay, we went here, we went here, we fought this person, we looked at this, we, we like, what was, like, the main thing we did in this episode, so, like, that episode we went to the Giza, right, so, came up with, well, 
it's, it sounds kind of like Ibiza, which is that, you know, the song, you know, Trick or to for Killing Ibiza. Um, but anyway, point is, I got it so stuck in my head after I did that, that I was like, you know what? I'm going to just roll with this for as much as I can. And I just came up with like an entire first verse for fucking took a trip to the Giza, which I thought was fucking hilarious. I don't know who, like I said, who read that or got the reference or realized I wrote the entire song. If you sing that along to the Took a Pill in Ibiza song, it, it matches pretty much perfectly with, with the melody, and I was pretty proud of that. So I don't know if anybody caught that, but if you didn't, you can always go back and check out the description for that video. It was a little absurd. It was one of those late night things I thought was funny and I just went with it. It happens sometimes when I make up episode names and descriptions for those. Sometimes I get a little carried away and I don't expect people to read them so I might have to point it out sometimes. Anyway. Yo, it's one of those Bang God dudes. What's up dude? How's it going? I found a potion in the, in the, in the Esther sand. Yo, 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 yo. How big is this area, by the way? Oh shit, this is as big as the last one. Fuck, I gotta be... Eh, this is the only other area we're gonna explore. I can be thorough here. Because the next area is the little town area, which is probably where we're gonna stop, because I'm pretty sure there's a save point there. I think. If there's not, well then I guess we gotta make it back to the gates of Robin Oster. The good thing is, though, the last area where that... On the way to Robin Oster, there is the, where that big dinosaur is and stuff, and that's a pretty small area. Okay. I'm just glad there's no other dinosaurs around here. That's why it's funny about the dinosaur, right? It's like, if you explore the whole desert, you're not going to find another one of those dinosaurs, probably. But they put one in the first fucking area to give you that goddamn noob trap, man, I swear. They did that 1,000% on purpose, and it's fucking ridiculous. Also, cactites. Why are you not automatically targeted? Damn it. Are there no treasures in this area? Hell. I don't think I found one yet. It's a big area, though. Big area. It's worth killing all these motherfucking easy bitches, man. We're getting lots and lots of LP for this. Down to get a bunch of free, quick LP. <sighs> and as much as I would like to go off on these extra screens that take us to new areas to show you guys where like other areas we can go to later, I'm gonna keep it all a mystery. I will not go into a new area <laughs> unless the game lets set like sends me that way. We are gonna explore pretty much everything in the game, whether the game sends me there or not. But most of the stuff that the game sends you to, so you at least go there. How thoroughly you explore is completely up to you, obviously, as with most games. Most games. <laughs> Give me all your wind stones. All your wind stones are belong to moi. Damn, dude, we're killing hell of more cockatrices this time around. They're everywhere. Let's see. There's nothing right here unless there's a treasure or something. More cockatrices. More cockatrices. Also, that cockatrice in the last area that we fought, that was like a lot harder to kill. I think that was like the leader or whatever you call them, the boss, the alpha. Alpha cockatrice. I believe every every enemy type has a alpha at some point. I don't know what prompts them to come out or if they're just always in certain yeah. areas. Because like in the Giza area is where we fought the alpha hyena or whatever it was. If you remember. I don't. I think we might have fought an alpha wolf around here already too. So there was some bigger versions of the wolf that we already came across. So I might have already fought an alpha wolf as well. Um, this screen does not go back the way I want to go. Don't go the wrong screen now, Funk. You don't want to go the wrong way, do you? Maybe a little bit. Wolf pelt. Lots of wolf pelts, lots of stones, lots of stuff to sell. This is good, this is good. This is all worthy experience to be had. So let's double check that there's a save point here. If there is, we'll call it an episode right now. If not... We'll make it back to the town. I don't think... Eh, now that I think about it, I don't think there is a save point here. I forgot if there was, but there's definitely not one here. Well, in that case, let's run around here for a sec, grab the treasures, and let's keep moving. We're almost out of here. My only thing is I think there's going to be a cutscene when we get back. Which I want to... 
That's why I didn't want to go back all the way before we called an episode, but like I said, we might have to. Wait, what? Oh, oh, there's a shiny on the ground. I didn't even see it. I was like, what are we interacting with here? Didn't even see the shiny. It's a bunch of shitty amounts of gill. Who cares? Alright, let's just go. Let's just go. We got one more area to run through. I'm probably just going to run through this area quick. Like, real quick. I won't even fight the cactuars. I'm just going to do a quick sweep. Quick power sweep. Looking for treasures. I'm not going to fight the cactuars since they don't aggro. I'll just fight things that want to fight me, you know? Fight things that want to fight me like not that dino fucking movie. Oh, the dino. You're just such a fucking troll dino, I swear. The trollest of dinos. Potion! Yeah, dude, free potions is what it's all about. It really is. That's like one of the main reasons to go ahead and re-explore places that you've already been. Just for free potions so you don't have to buy them. Yes. Really a nice way to not have to spend money. We're almost out of here and done, so Matic, yo. Anything in this corner? Nope. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Is there treasure up here somewhere? Let's see one over there. Is there one over here? I don't see any. Is there one up here? Is. Yeah. Our next one with a cockatrice. More gill, yeah! Oh look, another one up here, sweet. Alright. And hopefully, that'll be the last one I bother to go out of my way to grab. I know there's another one near the beginning by the high end of one of those rocks. But is there another one over here? I don't see one. There was one down here, right? Um, wait, not down here. I'm not far enough up. It's actually like right behind the rocks in the beginning, right? Ah, oh, wait, there's one right here. More gil! No, there's one behind these rocks in the beginning. I guess it's not here now. Oh, well. Okay, well, let's get back to Brabadoster. There's a save point at the gates. So let's see if there's a cutscene first. And then we'll call it a day. I actually think there is cutscenes here. So let's watch the cutscenes, shall we? I thank you. I'd avoid crowds if I were you. In this town, you're still a traitor, you know. The Resistance will surely find me soon. Fates will we meet again. I would pay my respects to your brother. You're a fugitive now, too. Stay low for a while. Okay. What about the stone? Do as you like. That stone's ill-favored. We feel regret. We sought that stone and found ourselves only worry. You offering it? It's mine. Then why'd you ask? Our regards to your girl. We stay in Rabanaster a while. Okay. So, Fran and Balthier leave for now, I guess. And so did Bosch. Can I trust Bosch? Are you Bosch? talking to a stone, bro? Are you literally talking to a stone right now? I gotta get rid of this thing. Well, who the hell would even want this but thing? Maybe I should show it to Pinello first, so she knows I got something. She'd be at Miguel's place this time of day. Supposedly. Alright, so both here and Fran are gone, which means I don't want to go back out into the desert. I just noticed my notes, and I went the wrong way in the desert. I was actually supposed to. Well, I wasn't supposed to, but. What I could have done is I could have actually explored out in the desert and went up to that next area that had the next save point and then used that as a teleport spot to get back here. Oh well. Anyway, we're back here in Robin Oster. Uh, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XII, we'll, uh, we'll look around. Maybe we'll go to Miguel's place. Maybe we'll uh, do some other things. But either way, it's time for some more story. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace!